My name is Tom. Uh, this is Russell. Say hello. 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 Uh, and we're coming to you live from the Wilton on Filter TV. ourselves and belief in what we do and very proud of it and um, so far this record has been doing very well. I think you just have to be consistent you know um, and just keep going and doing the same thing it would be the same with the third and the fourth album if we go oh you're on your fourth album now and you know, it, you know it's the, this is the time it was like wasn't that on the second album so uh, I don't know I just think you have to always be on it. Yeah got right again guys get back in the studio and, and we're gonna make a second record and don't take too long because people forget about you. If we didn't play Munich or Smokers, then I think people would be a bit pissed off. If we, if both of those were out of the set, I think people would go home a bit pissed off. Yeah, definitely. It'd be a nice experiment. See how pissed off you could make people. Get people leaving like little surveys as people. That was good, but the fuckers didn't play Smokers or Munich. Yeah, it's funny because we have other singles, and I mean. Like recently at festivals, we, you know, we haven't been playing All Sparks, which is a single from the first record. And it's not been missed. But if those two were missing, um, there'd be a younger. <laughs> came out when I was writing the song, the lyrics to the, the song, and uh, b before it was the album title. Uh, and when I thought about what some of the songs on the record touch on, not all of them, uh, some of them, uh, it seemed to kind of make sense. And it, it's not literal, it's not me trying to be profound, but uh, it just came out onto the page and I couldn't really stop it. But there are there's a lot of the songs touch on things coming to an end, you know, ultimately death. When something scary happens around your life, there are ways, after, that, after the event, after given time, there are ways of looking around at what you have, relationships with people, friends, family, and you know, making the most of what you have while you have it, and I'm uh, not a newfound appreciation for life, but you know, just seeing what you have and not taking things for granted, and that, taking something, you know, positive from something that's ultimately very negative, and ends as a start, seems to sum that up strangely. So I guess it's kind of uh, taking something, it's a positive way, a positive phrase. <laughs>